and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Um, I think I posted one last September, which is not very great, but New Year's resolution, New Year, I'm going to try again. So my first video of this year is my favourite reads of 2021. The first one is Fried Green Tomatoes of the Whistlestop Cafe by Fanny Flagg. Uh, I've wanted to read this book for 10 years, finally took the plunge last year, bought it, absolutely loved it follows Idgi and Ruth, who are best friends. Um, they live in Whistlestop. Ruth moves away to marry a man um, who becomes abusive. So Idgi rescues her and brings her back to uh, Whistlestop, where she has gives birth to the baby, a little boy, Bud, um, who they bring up together whilst running in the Whistlestop cafe. Um, Bud unfortunately uses his arm, his hand in a, a, a train accident. Um, but basically it just follows the characters who live in Whistlestop at the time. Um, this ending is very sad. I don't really want to, to say why, but yeah, the ending was really sad for me. But I, it, it's just a book you're going to have to pick up and, and read yourself. I, I really, really love this one. And at the back it has some of the recipes that they, they make in the, the Whistlestop Cafe. Which, yeah. I actually might want to try, but it's American, so I think some of the ingredients might be hard to get uh, get hold of here, but we'll see. But yeah, this is definitely a classic by Fanny Flagg, who you just really need to try, because I really cared for the characters, I fell in love with them, and uh, it has to be a well-written book for me to fall in love with the uh, characters. But in 2021, Fanny Flagg brought out the, whis the Wonder Boy of Whistle Stop, which is a follow-on of Bud getting married, having his own child, Ruthie. Um, his wife dies. Um, Ruthie, you see her grow up, get married. You find out what happened to the characters after they all leave Whistle Stop. And what happens because Whistle Stop doesn't exist anymore, really. Uh, Ruthie, she grows up looking after her dad. She gets married, her husband dies. Um, and it's basically, it's just a book picking up of visiting old friends from, if you've read the fried green tomatoes, it's it's revisiting old friends of seeing how they got on when they've left Whistle Stop uh, and what happens to them. But yeah, it's another great classic. Um, definitely, if you enjoyed the first one, you will enjoy the second one. Um, but the ending in this one is a lot happier. Um, Let's just say Bud remarries someone he didn't expect, someone very, very rich. <laughs> the next one is probably reread Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. I first read this when I was 15, I got it from the library purely because there was a cat on the cover. Um, but yeah, it follows Dr. Creed uh, moving into this new house um, because he's got a new job. His uh, cat, Church, well not his daughter's cat, Church, she gets uh, run over and killed. His new neighbour, his new friend, um, tells him to go and bury them here and he lets him in on the secret of the pet cemetery. Um, probably a big mistake because once you're buried in the pet cemetery, when you come back, you're not the same. But do I need to go on anymore? It's the legendary Stephen King, the king of horrible writing. But yeah, definitely one of my favourites. It was a reread and it was better the second time round than I first read it. Third book, House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. It follows four sisters. Oh my goodness. Three, three sisters that disappear on New Year's Eve one day. And then exactly a month later they come back with no knowledge of where they've been or what they've done. It follows the sisters of what happened when they do return. But then, I'm not going to give too much spoilers away, just in case you haven't read it. But it's a great read, and at the end you do find out what exactly happened to them. And who these are, the mysterious of where they've been, in the in-between. So they're not quite dead, and they didn't cross over. So, yeah, I know it's got more of a mystery Kind of thing but it's a great mystery the next one is where the crawdads sing by delta delia owens her first 
self-published book and it's absolutely brilliant. Another one where I cared so much about the characters. It uh, follows the Marsh girl, Kaya Clark. She lives with her family, but as the years go on, her mother disappears because she's fed up with the father. The father's an alcoholic. He disappears, brothers and sisters disappear, and she's left on her own. Um, survives in the marsh on, her, with her, on herself. She learns to catch different fish, goes and sells them to earn money, and uh, she becomes friends with someone in the town, a young lad. Uh, I can't remember his name. I'm really bad. I need to start writing things down so I remember. Um, anyway, this is another great book that I read in the summer of last year. Um, she's accused of murder. Um, the chapters and when she's in the courtroom literally held my breath because I cared so much at Kaya at that point. I wanted her to get off. And she does. So, yeah, another great, re great read. Definitely one of my favourites from last year. The next one is The Hollow Tree by James Brogdon. This is the first book I've ever read by James. I've never heard of him till then. But this is about Rachel. She has a, a, a canal boat accident and loses her hand. Um, then she gets this special powers where she can talk to the dead, basically. They're not quite... Obviously, they're dead, but they're in, in, in between. They're not. They're in the real world, but they're not quite crossed over to heaven or hell. Um, and she needs to find out the mystery of who killed this lady um, in the hollow tree. It's another great read for basically a thriller mystery kind of thing. But everything comes clear at the end. But yeah, that is brilliant. The next book is The Troop by Nick Cutter. Probably the most graphic, disgusting book I have ever read. It was fantastic. Uh, it follows this uh, scout group who go camping on an island. Um, and this man, he's, he's carrying a disease uh, and he spreads it about um, a little bit. And um, basically, who survives and gets off this island? What happens to them? What is this virus? Um, it's to do with worms and it's so gross. Normally I snack while I read but not when I read this but if you're into true horror and disgusting things this is for you but I absolutely love this and the final book favorite book of 2021 is again by James Brogdon Heckler's Children this is about four students who disappear on a hiking um, trip uh, one minute they're there the next they're not and the teacher gets pulled in for all kinds of questioning they don't know where they've gone and one day a body is found where close to where the children disappear and it digs up the mystery of what happened to them children where did they go again it was another story set in 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 between where they're not quite dead but they're not living in the real world and they've how they survived nine years um in in this place uh, but yeah, it's a, definitely another good read by James Brogdon. I think he's going to be another one of my favourite authors. So yeah, that is my little stack of my favourite books of 2021. And I hope this is helpful. And I will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>